<laughs> You're good. <laughs> You're fine. Good evening. Do we have any viewers with us so far? All right. Well, right now we're just setting up. Um, Really, I just need to get my autograph list here so we can go ahead and randomize. This will take a few minutes to queue up. It looks like having a little bit of technical difficulty right now getting to my uh, autograph list, but we should have that squared away here in a moment. All right, I think we're a few minutes away from getting started here. Uh, I'll probably get started uh, probably about five minutes or so more. <clears throat> Assuming my equipment here wants to cooperate.
Hmm. All right. Um, well, my wife was going to uh, do the break tonight. Unfortunately, she's feeling ill, so I'll go ahead and do the break. So you get to see a lot of hands. Uh, you get the uh, prettier version with her. She'd uh, love to show her face and chat with you guys, but uh, not feeling so well tonight. So we'll go ahead and uh, you're stuck with me. In any case, um, getting started. So uh, we didn't quite sell out tonight. We have several spots that are open. Um, so we'll just go ahead and run with the spots that we do have. Um, we're filled up with pretty much all the autographs. I think we only had three open spots in the autographs. Um, the rest of them were either filled by people buying or, as you know, we went ahead and gave bonuses to everyone. Uh, gave you an extra autograph spot, both to celebrate, first of all, our uh, initial our first uh, case break also because uh, we simply uh, had postponed a couple of times and wanted to uh, give you guys a, a bonus for uh, being patient with us as we got underway. Um, so tonight we are breaking one case of Game of Th Rittenhouse Game of Thrones season seven. As you can see, we've got a sealed case right here directly from them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy open and we'll go get started. Uh, in case you're wondering, we'll randomize the autographs here in a moment before we actually start opening up packs. Uh, we'll go out to random.org, take the list of people and randomize it the number of times uh, specified by a die roll. Go from there. Side. All right. So first of all, before we even do the randomization on the autograph, we do have our case topper. So we're sliding out of its top loader right here. All right, we've got our. John Snow. So let's see, the case topper is going out to Lynn. So Lynn, congratulations. Hopefully you're looking for John. If not, uh, you got some trading fodder to get one of the other cards you're looking for. And let's see, uh, it's on the outside there. Looks to be in good shape. So we'll go ahead and set that guy aside. All right. Um, so let's see if we random.org. All right, and we're gonna go to our list. Again, kind of go on our low tech right today with random. Let's see if we can see this. Bear with me for a moment. And again, super low tech for today. There you go, not quite so bright. All right, so we've got our list. Uh, should we have 24 in here, including the open spots? Uh, so we got four for DM. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, seven for Glenn D, two for Graham, one for Heather, one for Lynn, two for Michelle, three for Paul, one for Victor, and three open spots. All right, so we'll go ahead and roll a die. See how many times we're gonna randomize. We got a two, so we'll go ahead and randomize this list twice. So randomize number one. 
and one more time. All right. So, Lynn, you're you're the lucky one. You got case topper and you get the first autograph. All right. Um, oops. Actually, I'm sorry about that. You couldn't, guys couldn't even see that, could you? All right. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't think you guys can really see this, but we got Lynn, Graham, Victor, an open spot, DM, DM again, Glenn, Graham, Michelle twice, Glenn, DM, Paul, Glenn twice, DM, open twice, three Glens. Paul, Heather, and then Paul will round it out. So um, we'll get two autographs per box. So we know <coughs> with the 24 boxes, excuse me, uh, that we'll get our, excuse me, with the 12 boxes, we'll get a total of 24 autographs. Let's go ahead and set this aside. We'll keep track as we go of uh, our autographs here. And um, unless I'm forgetting something, I think we can go ahead and get underway. Let's see, zoom this. A little. I think we're going to be good there. Yeah, that'll work. All right. First box. First box in our case breaking. one thing here so I don't accidentally lose this list. I think people would be very unhappy if I lost track of who got what card, especially if we get a couple of good autographs pop up. So here is our order. Perfect. And again, we'll go a little, little higher tech in our next break. All right, here we go. And if you don't know, I don't know uh, how much you guys have broken of your own, but uh, they produced 8,000 boxes. This box happens to be number 1,701. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you all of these. Just a uh, curious fact in case you're wondering. Uh, they have fewer boxes than their prior couple of seasons, and I attribute that to a smaller set, which is attributed to a shorter season with fewer episodes. I expect season eight will probably be pretty similar based on uh, the trading cards for season eight will probably be pretty similar. Uh, in terms of run, because I hear that there's going to be fewer episodes in the final season as well. All right. This one's a pretty simple one. We just got our base cards. Kind of a ominous start there. Only base cards in the first pack. Like see a big hit there. But all right, we got a foil. Our foils tonight, by the way, are going to Victor. So Victor, keep an eye on that pile. Uh, I expect you'll be able to build, um, actually my experience so far with these cases has been you'll be able to build a full set, plus have a few cards left over uh, for the second set or perhaps for resale or trade. All right, I uh, think we already have our first autograph. So this autograph is going to Lynn. All right, Lynn, you got an Ian McKinnery. So go ahead, get that. Over here. Might be a little slower tonight than we expected. Uh, I was going to assist her with some of the uh, side magic, but uh, with just one stack, might be a little bit slower. All right, so Ian's number one. Let's go ahead and get this sucker rolling. Next, uh, another foil. Uh, we do expect to receive, uh, but eight foils per box. Occasionally there might be a ninth one. All right, we got our first gold. By the way, our golds are going out to Lynn as well. Boy, Lynn, you're active right at the beginning here. You might have a uh, slow back end because uh, it's certainly off to a hot start here. All right, your gold card here is Melisandre. And that looks to be card number 127 out of 150. Not sure if that focused in, but we'll go ahead and Set that aside for you for later. Actually, you know what? Put that right here. All right. All right. 
and we already have a beautiful death art. Beautiful death arts unite, I believe, is actually an open spot. So that might be up for auction later. here we get two of those per box and I think the quotables are also an open slot as I recall yes quotables are open slot all right so we already have our first autograph for this box so I'll go ahead and I'm just gonna rip these suckers open assuming the packs want to cooperate sometimes they do not One thing I meant to mention at the top, we actually did not list uh, the sketches or relics uh, simply because we want to make sure that everybody's guaranteed to get something out of it. Um, the sketch cards hit at one per every other case, so there's about a 50-50 chance there. Uh, but it looks like the relic card probably is maybe one per 10 case kind of range. Um, so if we're breaking multiple cases tonight, we definitely would have uh, included a sketch uh, and or relic uh, spot. But since we're only breaking one case, uh, if we happen to get a sketch, that's something we'll see up for auction afterwards. <clears throat> now watch, this case is going to prove me a liar. All the cases that I've opened so far personally have not seen a single relic card. Uh, done a little research. It looks like there's about 10 or 11 maybe floating around out there so far. Um, Rittenhouse says that they're under 100 produced um, for what that's worth. Get through this pile real quick. Oh, we already have our second autograph right off the top. So this autograph is going to our second spot that belongs to Graham. So Graham, good job in getting Faye. I hope he, she is, excuse me, uh, one of your favorite characters. I think she did a great job acting in that role and fortunately like many with us. All right, going through our base foil, more base, 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 base. Oh, and we have our first winners here. Uh, we actually should get two of these in case. Uh, so this particular one is Miss Denarius. Uh, actually kind of kind of tough to tell it's her in these pictures, a little bit uh, challenging in these uh, winters here, figuring out who, who it is, uh, and her in particular, maybe the uh, pouty lips there should give us away. Let's see, and winter is here, I think is actually an open spot. Seems like we're starting with a lot of open spots right now. Let's set that one aside. And our second quotable. All 
our relationship for those of you who have collected the prior seasons you know this is one of the continuing sets so this is number uh 46 uh this year we're, we have numbers 41 through 50 i believe all right moving on to the second box Of course, out of the various things I was preparing for for the first case break today, the one thing that I knew I needed that I forgot, box opener. But that's okay. He's working. Just not quite as well. in a second box. <clears throat> See a pattern forming here already. First pack is all base. Foils. Another relationship card, one for the box. <clears throat> uh, back half of this box looks like it's going to be the loaded half. is our first autograph Joseph is going to Victor I believe my breaks uh, let's see very limited so he is somewhere between uh 200 and 300 produced and that's actually i believe the first of his autographs i've personally seen out of the way let's go ahead and rip the rest of these guys open there's no argument about order because there's only going to be one more autograph here on this box By the way, if any of you uh, collects the 
rewards points. Written has rewards points. Uh, we have plenty of wrappers from all the cases that we're opening. Uh, so feel free to give us a chime if uh, you need some wrappers or would like us to send in some wrappers on your behalf. And we'll let you know what that looks like. Those of you who may not be familiar with that program, uh, the ongoing quotable set, uh, they release nine quotable cards in the packs each season. Uh, the 10th quotable card of the season is only obtained through the rewards program. You submit your wrappers and get the number of points specified in the wrappers of various products. And then you turn in those points to it too. And this one is Brienne of Tarth, one of my favorite characters, by the way. Sale later. One of our three open autograph spots. And our gold card for the box, Mira Reed. Moving on. Pack, gold card, Jan Royce. All right, first autograph of the box. A pretty good one. And hers Yep, uh, very limited. So again, uh, between 200 and 300 autographs this season. All right for you. Another beautiful death card. Expect to get about uh, probably six or seven of those here in the case. All right, we got our first autograph out of the way. So let's go ahead and rip through this box. So VM will actually have an autograph in this box as well. Uh, this is where we sorely miss tonight. Uh, talk through a step here. And I, on the other hand, have the tendency to get quiet. She'll definitely.
Pinch tree. Op opposites attract. Box feels like it has a lot of packs. Same pack number of packs as every other box. Feels kind of heavy. I'm thinking maybe learning steel in this. Nope, just foil. Speaking of Valerian Steel, we expect to see three regular expansion cards in this case, and one gold expansion card, which uh, the gold expansion cards, and I am not particularly familiar, I apologize, with the uh, Valerian Steel product that came out this past year, um, but I did notice here in the expansion, and I'm assuming probably the same in the base cards that came out, um, it's very tough to tell the difference a lot of times between the uh, gold and standard Valerian steel card. So, might be. All right, we got a foil. Bunch of base. There's one of our two quotables. Looks like our autograph is coming up. I believe, as I said earlier, this is DM second. Rob Calendar. Maybe not as strong of an autograph as the first one. That was autograph. I do like his signature there. Very nice. You know, earlier today, uh, we're discussing the uh, dual autograph this year, the nine case incentive. Uh, it has Peter Dinklage on and uh, the only thing, the only problem with that card, it's a great card, except uh, his signature is basically just a scribble. That's okay. What he lacks in city, he makes up for in excellent acting. And we are done with box three. Right, this is when my key is not doing well. All right. Let's do a little clean up here, get some wrappers out of the way. And once again, if you uh, need any wrappers, let us know. Certainly one of the things we supply to our audience. I don't know why I turned those over, just uh, like them better face up, I guess. And our relationship card.
get this nice base out of the way. As these piles start getting high, they kind of get in the way and interfere with the progress. Where would we be without base cards? Uh, the bulk of the uh, product that we carry is uh, sports, specifically baseball. And never really gotten into the whole uh, idea of the higher end stuff where every single card is a hit. Uh, like the, the hunt, the search, got to get through all the riffraff to find the fun stuff. If there are things a hit, then, you know, where's the joy in that? I guess the counter argument is the joy is every single card is trouble because it's a hit. All right, here is one of our two gold relationship cards for the case. It's number 136 out of 225 and a serial number there. Uh, I don't think the autofocus works quite that closely when I'm zoomed in. Pile. Base getting confused with the foil. I don't want to let that happen. A little fraternizing between the base and parallels. All right, we got our autograph here. Lucy Hayes. Carl. There's Kitty Frey. And I apologize, my screensavers come on here, so I'm not quite sure who that's going to, but we'll take a look here. We'll do a recap afterwards. Let you know exactly who got Miss Kitty Frey. All right, let's go ahead and rip through the rest of this box. Now we got our first autograph here. First autograph, we also have our uh, big hit of this particular. Uh, typically, you just get one big hit per box and per case, two duds. A name for our case breaks. As far as I could find, up on the play on words with windbreaker, but like uh, something we could easily attach a good tagline to. Only leaning right now towards come rip one with us. Now what our logo might look like. Uh, yeah, that, I got a few ideas maybe on that one, but I don't know if they're all particularly tasteful. Again, we're certainly open to ideas. If any of you have uh, any offerings as far as potential taglines, love to hear them. As well as uh, if any of you are artists or would-be artists or just like to sketch out ideas, uh, we're certainly open to ideas for a future logo. Oh, look at that. Popped right to our second autograph of the, part, the box. Miss Burgett Sorensen. I actually don't know how to pronounce her middle name. Uh, I'll leave that to you guys. All right. I also have a beautiful death card.
uh, I do like this particular quote. Gingers are beautiful. We are kissed by fire. Excellent quote. I myself am not a ginger. However, I do have some gingers in my family. And our gold card for the box. Brand Stark. Hope that was one you were looking for. Number 149 out of 150. All right, box four done. So we're gonna clean up here before we get too cluttered. Another thing your, my wife would tell you about me, um, I do leave cluttered messes all over the place, especially when it comes to my car. It really gets on our nerves. Go ahead and put these folds and sleeves before we potentially damage them any. Serial numbers getting clean. All right, moving on. Let's see what you keep. Box five underway. It's a nice conference room I'm set up in tonight, but unfortunately after hours, the building turns off the air conditioning. And seeing as I'm based here in Dallas, in June, I guess it could be worse, it could be July or August, but uh, certainly in June when it's 9,500 degrees outside, turn off the AC and it starts getting warm pretty quickly, especially for these big glass windows. Windows glass. Thought we might have had something interesting there, but well, we kind of do. We've got the first autograph of the box. Robert. Now, the interesting thing about Robert here is he plays young Ned Stark, but he's not the youngest Ned Stark to autograph in this set. He's more of the moderately young Ned Stark. All right. This, uh, my autograph's pretty early in the boxes, so we'll just go ahead and rip away to keep this thing moving. So I don't want to have to uh, keep you guys too terribly long watching this. I know it's definitely uh, fun and amusing sometimes to watch as your packs get ripped, but also know you don't want to sit there for two hours to watch one case move. We actually have our first Valerian steel of the case. Uh, this appears to be, as I said, a little bit difficult to tell, but I, I don't think that's the gold. Uh, this is actually the one that's probably the most confusing because it he, he's got flames in the background and, and the edges are kind of gold anyway. Uh, I think the key is the back side. really doesn't look gold. I think that's the easiest way to tell. I'm going to go ahead and set this one aside. So that's one of our three base for layer and steel, if I'm correct about that. That uh, Valerian steel, that is our uh, probably one big hit of the box. Uh, so our one gold beautiful death art. And 
standard valerian steel and one gold valerian steel. And we've already hit both of our hunters. So if I'm right, let's see, we got seven boxes, uh, three more valerian steel, one relationship, one beautiful death art. So uh, I would expect out of the last seven, there's either going to be two dud boxes. Well, they could have right standard beautiful death in it. It's not full of dud. Um, or we'll have either a sketch or a relic and one dead box. My math is correct. That starts to get a little fuzzy at this time of the evening. Here is our gold card, the dragon and the wolf. Let's see if I got side. Foil. Pardon me for one second. We have some battery issues here. Hold on for one moment. Usually, uh, excuse me. Apparently, apparently our uh, main computer there uh, was a little lower in battery than I had anticipated. So I had to plug that puppy in before we lost you guys. Not a good way to uh, end a break. Right in the middle. I always find it best to finish at the end or end with a finish rather than in the middle. I guess that could apply to a lot of things, perhaps. Uh, here's our second autograph of the box, The Hound. All right, moving right along. And actually, I might do um, kind of a since we uh, lost our autograph list here, uh, I'm sure some of you guys watching might be wondering about now which autographs you have. Uh, let's see. I think when we finish the next box, we have. So y'all can be caught up. All right, moving on to box number six. Lucky box number six. I guess it should really be lucky box number seven next. And we have our first autograph already. Mr. Gorman and Carl Tanner. Uh, had our autograph in our first pack. Go ahead and 
start plowing through this box. Sorry about that. these before you start the next pile. And second and final gold relationship. Definitely slows down the process. I mean, uh, 60, 100 cards in a pack. I think uh, 100 cards in a pack is a bit excessive, but I think that uh, 20 to 30 is not right for uh, case breaks. Uh, you spend more time going through the cards rather than fumbling. Five cards per pack definitely uh, slows down the process a bit. I think I see where it's at. Happen to pop right to beautiful death card. Our goal card for the box is this lovely fellow. Big fan of the eye patch. And our second autograph of the box, Johannes Kr. Oh, Hannison, well, that's a tough one. Uh, better, better known as Lem, Lemon Cloak. You might recall him as Mr. Lemon Cloak. All right, so let's do a midway recap of our autographs. If I can pull up my list here, bear with me for one second. I think that was totally wrong. Okay. All right. So, Lynn led us off with Ian. Graham came along with Faye. Victor got Mr. Joseph Quinn. They have an open spot, so stay with us, Sarah. DM got back to back with Palau, Pla, Pola, Pola, huh? and Rob. Then Glenn got Lucy. Graham is taking home 
Bridget. Michelle is taking home Robert. Glenn is also getting Rory the Hound. It's a good card I like. Yes, that was back to back Michelle, I believe, in those two. Double check that here in a second. Uh, so that would mean and going home if you're honest. Make sure it's right. Lynn, Graham, Victor, open, DM, DM, Lynn, Graham, Michelle, Michelle again. And Glenn, and finally, yeah. All right. So it kind of gets everybody up to speed on our autographs. Let's go ahead and get some little bit of maintenance here. I'm going to take one brief moment. We'll be right back for the second half of our case. All right, and we are back. All of our boxes open. Now we're going to be done with keys for the night. Ooh, I might start sweating here in a minute, go. Uh, the gender noodle here. Back half of the case will be very uh, Valerian steel heavy since we still have uh, three of our four to go. All right. All right, box number seven. Let's get the second half underway. See if we can move a little faster through this second half than we did through the first half because we got acquainted with one another. Well, I guess you got acquainted with me. One of the things I'm uh, curious to hear about from you guys, since the since we've been uh, selling cards directly rather than case breaking historically, uh, what's your thought on the independence of uh, case breakers and uh, how that might play into perception and in terms of uh, integrity and whatnot uh, is it, you know generally is there a question mark if somebody's breaking but also selling cards independently about anything there i'm just kind of curious what the thought is there in general if you have any ideas on that any thoughts on it let me know just kind of curious uh i believe i tend to see that the majority of case breakers focus solely on case breaking rather 
but there are certainly some uh, pretty big card breakers out there who also do sales as well. Just kind of curious. All right, here's our second Valerian steel. That one is definitely not gold. That is our standard Valerian steel right there. If Valerian steel can be standard. Uh, first autograph in this box will go to Paul. Our second autograph will go to Glenn. Let's play on some options here. All right, first autograph. So again, this one is going to Paul. Paul, you are taken home. Anya Bergstein. All right. Go ahead and rip through the rest of this case. We've already got our big hit in the Valerian Steel in our first autograph. So what remains is our second autograph. Our inserts such as the uh, relationships and quotables. Uh, our one gold card. And perhaps, if you're lucky in this box, beautiful death art. Oh, I always struggle with that every single time. It seems to be pausing the night. I don't know why I'm struggling with coming up with that phrase. I do like uh, this year's beautiful death art. It's um, extremely colorful, for sure. And uh, imagery is, is uh, just fantastic. Occasionally move the mouse over there so I don't lose my uh, autograph list. See if we can keep that rolling for a while. Huh. Uh, there's our second autograph right there, so we'll go ahead and look at this one. Ah, Glenn, this I believe is an extremely limited. Jim Broadbent. Actually, uh, I've run across, I believe, one of his so far in my personal cases. Let's double check that. So, Jim. Yes, Jim is, in fact, the list is extremely limited, meaning that uh, between 100 and 200 copies exist. Uh, the one card that I have not seen yet that is extremely limited is Sons of Stark card. I've not seen that autograph come up yet. All right, let's dive in. There's our relationships card for the box. Here's our gold card. Beyond the wall. It's rather cold in that scene. It's cold in a lot of these scenes. So that's what happens when winter is here. Definitely not here in Dallas right now. Box number eight. 
Sorry for a little less talkative here as we uh, go on. Uh, it's definitely been a lengthy day. Ball card right there. All right. Ah, another excellent quote from Samba. I'm a slow learner, it's true, but I learn. Our next two autograph spots are once again Glenn, and then serial number there, 143 out of 150. <clears throat> Gold parallel, or excuse me, our uh, gold insert parallels are done for the night. Our winters here is done for the night. <clears throat> down to two Valerian steel, including the gold, and maybe another good. <clears throat> Is going to Glenn. <clears throat> and I think, ah, that one's a limited, so that is between, uh, how many is that? Between 300 and 500 of those in existence. through the second half pretty quickly here. I guess that's the idea. Sometimes the packs do not cooperate. I have a different plan in mind for the pace of our break. At least we're breaking in the 20 teens when we're dealing with foil. Sure, breaks would have been a little different if they had uh, gone down back in the 80s during a uh, wax wrapper era. It might have been very strange if they were vending cases, 500 cards at a time. <clears throat> My wife last night, I'm going over the stuff for today, said, well, where's the gum? I agree. Maybe you should slide some gum in here. I don't know that it's particularly good for the cards, but I mean, at least the foil wrapper's keeping them in good shape. So maybe a gum wouldn't be, a little gum wouldn't be so bad. We actually, speaking of which, opened a uh, bunch of packs last year, of, uh, baseball cards from the 80s. And they still had the gum intact. It was uh, ooh, 1982 or 83 we're opening. So we're looking at 35-year-old pieces of gum. Uh, as a reminder, our next autograph is going to DM.
Our gold card is Sansa Stark. I thought we already had her earlier. Let's see. I'm kind of curious. Did we get two Sansa Stark gold cards? Nope, I was mistaken. Must have been another card I was thinking of. <clears throat> and oh, we had the autograph coming, which is our relationship card. And our autograph. Jessica Henwick. All right, the I'm going home with Jessica Henwick. All right. Uh, the two autographs in this box are actually open, so these uh, will become available for sale at some point in the very near future. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll get a decent one here, but not something too good. I don't want to tick you guys off by getting uh, one of the better cards, though we already had one extremely limited in the uh, case. so. <clears throat> I'm sure that's probably enough for the case, but who knows? Maybe we'll have one or two more of that. Uh, I think this might be our Valerian Steel. Nope. Oh, for two in that call. Just a four. Aaron's hands are case break here. <clears throat> I'm going to do it in about 90 minutes. Not terribly fast, but I uh, figure it would be good for an opening round try. Uh, maybe a little over 90 minutes here. We're averaging uh, yeah, almost 20 minutes per no. uh, Sorry, over 10 minutes per box. So that would leave a while left here, but we think we're picking up the pace as we go. And our first autograph for the box. Again, he's going to our open spots. Michael Feast. His autograph kind of looks like his character there, a little uh, wobbly, perhaps. And a beautiful death card. I guess if we just rip through these since both the autographs are open, we hit the first one already anyway. Oh, I already got the second autograph. Mm. 
maybe next time for you guys, I ought to put a movie on in the background. So when I get quiet and I'm ripping through packs for uh, a couple of minutes, you guys can have some entertainment aside from just watching me open packs and wonder what in the heck might be in there. card one of the sand ladies not to be confused with the sand people from star wars just say she does not look like a sand person from star wars Number 10. Uh, box number 10. Uh, Glenn actually gets both the autographs in this one as well as the first one in the next box. So, three autographs. It's good to have some uh, feedback out there. We've had a couple of viewers here come and go. I think since we've got a, a small break uh, this time, with not a lot of participants, we. Uh, uh, I wasn't expecting too much of a live audience. Maybe some people will view it while William's uh, typing that up. Uh, we got our first autograph here in the box for Mr. Glenn. Yeah. All right, uh, gold card here. And we'll go ahead and let's get these guys ripped here so we can move this box along, especially. Uh, since we already got our first autograph, and Glenn gets those autographs anyway. So I don't think Glenn needs to worry about what order they came out in anyhow. Now remind me, William, where are you uh, where are you based? Where are you out of? Ah, Sacramento, all right. I'm trying to think if I've ever actually like a pass through Sacramento, but I've never actually gotten to spend any time there. It's been a very long time ago. Do you uh, keep up the politics out there in California, or do you avoid the political scene? All right, I'm going to call this one a Valerian Steel. Third time's a charm, right? I think this one. This one's got to be. Yep, here's our Valerian Steel, our big hit for the box. And this appears to be our gold. Or maybe not. I don't know. It, it looks like our gold. I think that's the gold one. We'll find out here in a few minutes when we look at the last one, I guess. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just figured since I brought up politics that maybe you wanted to avoid the discussion. I was I was asking if you uh, uh, followed any of the California politics or if you avoided the political scene out there.
<laughs> All right. Well, uh, good for getting out there and uh, and making your voice heard in the voting booth. Uh, definitely uh, some interesting stuff out there right now with the way that uh, California congressional seats are handled. So uh, that's why I was asking. Don't certainly don't want to get into a political discussions, especially in the uh, middle of a Game of Thrones break here. But I was just curious since uh, there's a lot going on out in California with the congressional seats. Sorry. Beautiful death art. And our second autograph for Mr. Glenn in the box. Stairs. All right. Yeah, uh, politics here in uh, Texas in general are, um, I don't know, maybe not as interesting, so to speak. It's been a uh, Republican state for so long, but, uh, you know, the interesting thing is, like much of the country, the um, more urban areas are uh, more democratic. liberal or left-leaning, whatever you want to call it. All right. Ten boxes down, moving on to box number 11. Our two autographs in this box are going, uh, again, to Glenn, since he did three in a row here, and to Paul. And I do want to take a moment to thank everybody who stuck with us as we got this set up. Uh, Hoping to, you know, uh, fill up pretty quickly in the, the pre-sale and, you know, but still gave it plenty of time and expected that uh, over time it would fill up. And unfortunately, it just didn't happen. And I think part of that is uh, we have to build our reputation first as a, a card breaking uh, company group. I don't know. We're card breakers. Um, and I think until then, it's going to be hard for us to, to maybe fill up. But uh, in the meanwhile, hopefully we can make it fun for you guys and uh, deliver some good product and build a good rotation so that we can continue to hold breaks and uh, maybe make things a little little more interesting going forward. So, all right, first card going to Glenn. This autograph card is on Yim Berkstein again. And I think she has uh, two autograph cards actually in the set. A little uh, interesting that Rittenhouse has played there. Uh, you got one bordered and one, this is the full bleed. And you can call both of them limited because each one's only, you know, 300 to 500. But in total, she may have 600 or 700 signatures. Ah, well, thank you, William. I appreciate that. We definitely try hard. I'll say uh, this year we're into a bit of a challenge. Um, uh, as we got into the baseball season, my uh, volume has been much higher than the previous year. And uh, we uh, just keeping things organized and turning things around and everything is a little bit of a challenge. And uh, I tried a couple of different things along the way as far as uh, keep track of all the shipping and that. And the changing actually, I think, was what screwed us up the most. And so we ended up a bit behind on, on some of our delivery there and uh, plan, plan some catch up here. And the good news is as of this weekend, I think we are 100% caught up in all our shipments and uh, 
hopefully it'll be back to rocking and rolling and, and feeling good and getting that 100% feedback. All right, well, we got our first auto out of the way a few packs ago, so let's go ahead and rip through this box. Uh, I think at this point we just have our only, uh, shall we say, guaranteed hit left in the case is the uh, is a Valerian Steel. Yes, we have one more Valerian Steel to go. Um, so, question will be, do we get a Valerian Steel and a dud box, or do we get a Valerian Steel and something a little more interesting? Perhaps a sketch or a relic or... I don't really know what the other options are. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, my bag is overflowing with wrappers. That's one thing I have to figure out. A a good way. Maybe there already is a way out there. All these foil wrappers. I don't know that these little aluminum wrappers are um, particularly recyclable. Uh, perhaps they are. But that's one of the things we certainly as card collectors and uh, breakers tend to produce a lot of junk. I think most of it's recyclable. I mean, the boxes are recyclable. The wrappers, these boxes are definitely recyclable. Um, but I'm curious about the wrappers themselves. I don't know if they're particularly easy to recycle. I apologize. That might be a name off. Here. Oh, yep, that's right, because we already on Paul's autograph, I believe. Sorry. I was a little confused there. I got ahead of myself. Yeah, this is uh, not only our first case break, but also the first year that we are um, carrying Game of Thrones. That's a pretty good product. I like it so far, and I haven't really dealt with written house before. Uh, most commonly, you know, top since you do a lot of baseball. Um, but they seem to put together a good product. Uh, their customer service has been really good. I've actually been impressed. Uh, for example, uh, one of the sketch cards that I found in one of the packs. Um, couldn't tell from the, uh, there was no signature or anything like that that uh, could identify who the artist was. And so I was curious. And so I uh, reached out to customer service and they actually responded uh, very quickly and gave me the information on who the artist was. So that was uh, definitely very, very helpful. All right, I think the autograph is actually sitting right here at the back, but we're going to make you wait for that, Paul. You're going to have to wait to see what that is. All right. There's a relationship card. Oh, did we lose some that. Okay. Yeah, no, I definitely uh, agree. The, the product solid quality. Um, you know, the only drawback that I've seen so far that comes to mind is the, um, uh, at least this year, the back of the quotable cards um, tend to get a, a lot of chipping along the edges. I don't know that I've seen a completely clean uh, card yet. So for those of you who are, um, you know, not just the card collector, but also looking uh, particularly closely at um, uh, the condition of the card, uh, it's just something to watch out for. Is that I'm just not seeing very many clean. Now, the, the front's beautiful on these. Um, I find that the edges are great. I think the way that they cut them, um, that the chipping occurs in the back, or maybe it's how it sticks in the pack. I'm not quite sure, but um, definitely a bit of chipping around the edges. But the, the quality of the card otherwise uh, is a fantastic look. 
uh, like the gloss to it and everything. As I said earlier, the beautiful depth cards uh, are, are just spectacular. I think he had, had he died in one of the earlier seasons? I don't think he was actually in. Yeah, you know, I've um, been impressed with Rittenhouse so far, uh, not just with the customer service and the quality of the cards, um, but just the, the operation organization um, itself. There was actually a delivery um, problem on, um, actually, my case incentives. Uh, there was a delivery problem on, and they uh, turned around, and actually, apparently, the president over there was the one who <laughs> made sure that my shipment went out. Um, to get that to me quickly. So uh, they, they definitely uh, seem like a solid organization. Now I have, even though we hadn't um, done any um, product in, in prior years for Game of Thrones. Um, I have picked up some uh, season three and, and season six as well. I think a little bit of season five. Um, and so we do have some some product out there, fairly limited uh, quantity there. Uh, and each of the years has been good. I actually, um, I think this year, uh, really there is, is a strong showing for them. They were a little delayed in um, getting the product out. Originally, the release date was supposed to be on May 9th. Uh, so I guess technically we may have actually moved this uh, break three times. <laughs> I don't recall if we had that if a date set. I don't think we set the date until, until after the release date had already moved. So, All right, final box. Our two autographs here are going to Heather and Paul. Paul wrap us up on the... Autographs, and I think our first pack, we already have one of our autographs here. And Miss Heather is getting Brendan Kyle. It's the first of Brendan we've seen in this case. Actually, I don't think we've seen any repeat autographs. I think so far, with one autograph left, we've had 23 unique autographs. Like, I don't think we've even had a repeat signer with different variations of their autographs. All right, well, we're already on our graph in, so the last one belongs to Paul. So we're going to go ahead and rip away, see if we can't wrap this sucker up and call it an evening. Um, we will, um, I'll actually, at the after the end of this video, um, I'll record a quick second video just for those of you who uh, may want to get a, you know, if you missed something or uh, just want to get a recap or something like that. Uh, also be good, obviously, if you're listening to this, then this doesn't pertain to you. But uh, if you didn't get to join us tonight and watch it live and don't want to watch a full hour and 40 minutes of uh, me and my hands opening foil pack at foil pack, uh, you can just cut right over to that recap. I'll say, wrap through, run through that and three to five minutes, something like that, much easier to consume video. Just doesn't quite have the integrity of actually watching me open. Rip each and every pack. So um, one thing uh, I have noticed this year, um, we had a couple of us, me and one of my competitors, so to speak, much larger uh, shops that's been doing this for a lot longer, um, actually under ordered the albums for the season, the binders. And uh, I very quickly sold out and actually oversold a little bit. Oops. And uh, went out to the Rittenhouse website. Sci-Fi Hobby, 
and noticed that they were no longer for sale out there. And I think they were originally, as I recall, they had listed them for sale uh, pre-order or listed that they would be selling them maybe. I think that was it. Um, and I went to my distributor and on their website, they only had three left. And luckily I was able to get some of those three. So I wasn't quite as oversold as I had been. Um, contact my distributor. They said, uh, yeah, we, we can get you a case of four albums. Well, then they reached out to Rittenhouse and Rittenhouse said, nope, we're sold out. So I reached out to Rittenhouse and uh, asked them, uh, you know, they intend to produce anymore because it seems like there's a shortage this year. I don't know if somebody just bought a bunch and was sitting on them. It seems like a little bit of an odd item to do that with. Uh, maybe they cut back production this year compared to prior years with the smaller um, set size. So there were fewer, uh, could have been a mathematical error in terms of, well, there's only 8,000 boxes this year, fewer boxes, or you need fewer albums. But the reality is it's not because of fewer sets. It's because there are fewer cards in each set than prior years. So they should have produced as many albums. Um, but the response I got back is it just, Time. It seems that they do not intend to produce more albums. Uh, so there might be a bit of a shortage out there. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on um, four more albums um, coming from, I believe, the United Kingdom. Yes, because I had to pay in British pounds. Uh, so I'm no longer oversold. I actually have a couple in stock um, coming up here. Um, but it's unfortunate that. Uh, they are, in fact, sold out, and it seems like may not be producing anymore. All right. Cutting right over. Sorry for uh, moving right almost one sentence and going straight over. Uh, here's our final Valerian Steel of the case. This is our uh, final hit. So uh, enjoy. Uh, and it does confirm, by the way, that uh, the prior one was the gold, because here are our three regulars. So uh, I believe who has our... Uh, yeah, this was Lynn. She had her case topper as well as, well, she has our gold Valerian Steel. So Heather is getting our three Valerian Steel cards. We'll go over that and recap. And Lynn is getting our one gold. All right. Let's go through this and see what that last autograph looks like for Paul, I believe it was. Yes, for Paul. William, did you uh, manage to hang in with this the, through the, the whole program this evening, or did you join partway through? Well, I await that response. Mr. Paul, you are getting the lead. William Paul. Her and her very rosy cheeks. All right, so that is done with the autographs. We're done with our big hits. So just kind of wrapping up the last few things here, get some foil, get some other inserts. Oh, and our final gold card. War. And our gold base, that's going to Lynn as well. She uh, clearly is a gold collector. I'm surprised I didn't hear from her on the, uh, was it the gold relationships. I think we didn't sell that one or the couple of other golds. All right. So I have an insert for the very end. We'll finish with this quote. Oh, well, this quote I did earlier, so I'm sorry for the repeat. 
Perhaps this is a reflection of my uh, first case break. I'm a slow learner. But I. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, aka William, for joining tonight. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, anybody who uh, participated, or heck, if you didn't participate and you just watched the break because you happen to run across it out here on our channel, uh, please uh, give us feedback. Uh, constructive criticism is appreciated, not so much the destructive variety. Uh, but any any feedback, um, like I said earlier in the video, uh, you know, we're kind of going to look to establish uh, our brand. And so in doing so, uh, we want things like a tagline, uh, logo, things of that nature. Um, so until next time, keep on ripping them. Maybe that's one. Have a good night.